Uh, so here is calculating um, ratios. So I picked an example, or this is just an example of calculating ratios in a dihybrid cross. So my example, I'm just using um, purple flowers or white flowers and tall plants versus short plants. Those are the two traits I'm using with uh, purple being dominant and tall being dominant. And so if I set up my Punnett square, uh, my dihybrid cross as shown, uh, and if the question is asking for a phenotypic ratio, now the way, like how to know what order to put them, uh, usually you start with whatever the first trait is. So in our, in our parent, purple or flower color comes first and then height. So I would, on my, when I'm writing down my ratios, I would find, okay, purple is dominant, purple can be tall. Uh, you can be purple or be short. And then uh, for flower color, you can be white and be tall, or you can be white and be short. So those, that would be the order that I write it in. I'm going from most dominant, I guess, down to most recessive, if that's how you want to look at it. So now let's go ahead and locate in our Punnett square all of the purple and tall offspring. So this would be purple and tall, 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 mm, purple and tall, purple and tall, purple and tall, purple and tall. <laughs> So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We end up getting nine that are both purple and tall. Then let's go ahead and count up how many are purple and short. So here's a purple and short, here's a purple and short, and here's a purple and short. So that would be three. Then let's go ahead and find a, um, a white flower that is tall. Here's a white flower that's tall, one, a white flower that's tall, two, and three. We have three of those, and then we have one that has homozygous recessive for both traits. And that's how you calculate phenotypic ratios of a very standard uh, dihybrid cross.